What's up everyone? So today's video, a little bit of a sad one. It's going to be one of the last videos you guys will see with the 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8. I'm getting ready to sell it, so I'll go over, you know, what I'm looking to replace with the Genesis Coupe. My whole experience over the last year of ownership, I've only owned it for one year. I did post up a one year update video of the car. You guys can check that out. I did it a little bit early because I knew I was getting rid of it or trading it in. So I'll go over again my overall experience with it and then I'll give you guys a little bit of a hint as to what I'm looking for for my next car. So like I said, I've owned the car for about a year, a little, just over a year. Uh, this time last year I had the 2007 Toyota Tacoma. And while that was an amazing truck, I almost had it completely done uh, with as far as mods that I wanted to do. I had the six inch lift, was getting ready to put larger tires on it, things like that. Maybe fender flares. And after the six inch lift, about three or four months, it just, the reliability of that truck just went south. I had so many problems, so many noises coming from underneath the chassis and frame and everything. And with the new job that I was getting, I was putting about 100 miles a day uh, is what a normal commute for me was at the time. So the truck was pretty unreliable to get from point A to point B without worrying about breaking down. So immediately I had to look for a new car. And having the two liter, the turbo, uh, that was one of my first uh, choices to go with was the Genesis Coupe just because we had one. I've already driven it some, you know, and knew everything about it. So that was my first option. And within the span of a weekend, I had about two days to look for a new car. It got to the point, you know, midweek, one, t uh, one week, I just, I had enough. I had to get something that was more reliable. So in a weekend, I started searching for any kind of car you know that I could find. I did want to stay rear wheel drive uh, just like the Genesis Coupe so I was looking at 350Zs, G35s, BMWs, anything like that and this happened to be about 20 minutes down the road it was a good price had good mileage on it I bought it with 35,000 which at the time I thought was a little high but I was perfectly happy with it now and it does have the six-speed automatic transmission I was seriously considering the manual but with all reading up on all the forums and things like that the first generation Genesis Coupe had a lot of problems with the manual transmission so in my experience coming from the Tacoma with all the reliability issues that I had going with the six-speed automatic was a much safer choice for me I didn't want to have to worry about you know replacing a manual transmission after my experience with the truck so that's why I did go with the six-speed automatic and it's been phenomenal. It's worked very well over the last year, especially with the amount of driving that I had to do in the car. So in that same weekend, found this car not too far away, went down, took a look at it, test drove it, and just made the deal happen. So again, I've owned this car for a little over a year, absolutely loved everything about it. And without putting too much money into it, I think I've made it look very clean looking. I really like it a lot. Some of the mods include this custom grill that I made using the stock grill. Repainted it, wrapped it in the 4D carbon fiber vinyl. I have the AEM intake as the only engine mod. The wheels are painted gloss black and I have the wing emblems all around too. The car actually came with 30% window tint. I like it a lot, decided to keep it of course and then we have the 4D carbon fiber wrap on the roof which looks very cool also have the quad tip cnt cat back racing exhaust so i haven't put too much money into it over the last year and i did those pretty quick within three or four months i had the car pretty much like this so i got to enjoy it for quite a while and the only plans that i had for this car as of now would be new wheels and lowering it so that's not going to happen because of course i am selling the car so now on to why exactly am I selling the 3.8 after just one year of ownership? Well, there's a few factors. Um, the first one is I am looking to upgrade in horsepower. So I'd like a car that's much quicker. I'd like a car that handles the same as the gen, if not better. 
the Genesis Coupe is really a great handling car. We've taken it to a lot of mountain roads. Uh, have, it has a track day under its belt. So I'd like something that handles the same, if not better. I'd also love to be back in a manual. I've ac actually never owned a manual, which is ironic. Um, our first car was manual TC. But that was more of my brother's car, which I did drive. Uh, but in doing all these car reviews, everything like that, I've driven tons of manuals. But I'd like to actually own a manual car. So I'm looking for the five speed or six speed. I'd really like to stick with the six speed just for better gas mileage. And I would like to stick with rear wheel drive as well. Uh, coming from the front wheel drive TC and being in the rear wheel drive for a year, I'd really like to stay with the rear wheel drive. And I did consider keeping the gen and getting another car, but in having the street bike as well, I've only put 3,500 miles on my car in the last six months. So having two cars and the bike just doesn't make financial sense to me to have one just sitting around all the time. So the Genesis Coupe has to go. You know, it's been a fun experience over the last year. Absolutely love this car. I mean, to me, it just looks incredible as an affordable sports car, but you can do tons with it. Handles great has a good amount of power the first generation had 306 horsepower so kind of sad to see the gen go but we have awesome plans for the new car and we'll have tons of videos posted on the channel one mod that i never got to do on this car is wrapping the entire car i did the roof as i showed you the gas cap and the rear uh, lip spoiler but now didn't actually get to wrap the entire car so whatever i pick next is going to get fully wrapped and that's going to be an awesome project that we're actually going to do right in our garage. So a lot of guys that we're seeing now getting their cars wrapped are spending, you know, a good amount of money to get them wrapped. We're going to show you guys how to do it in your garage. Uh, doing the roof was really fun, so can't wait to do the entire car. That's really the only mod that I'd like to do on my next car. Um, again, having more horsepower and things like that, I'm not going to mess with the engine. Uh, maybe the exhaust, of course but mainly cosmetics is my main goal for the next car. So again, one year of ownership with the Genesis Coupe, it's been a blast, but can't wait for the next car to show you guys. So we'll have tons of videos of the next car posted on our channel. So definitely subscribe, stay tuned so you guys can see our next car project. It'll be really awesome. We'll do pretty much everything we did with the, both of the Genesis Coupes. We'll take it on mountain roads, show you all the, the mods, were really the wrap, uh, more driving clips, track days, things like that. So we're definitely gonna keep the videos coming of the next car and it's gonna be super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of the 3.8 videos in the last year. It's definitely been an awesome car. I'm really, I am sad to see it go, but you know, it's time to move on and you know, just start on a new project. So it's gonna be cool. Hopefully you guys subscribe, stay tuned so you can see what the surprise is of the next car that I own. And we'll have tons of pictures up on our Instagram of both coupes together for the last time, along with it parked next to my bike. So they've, they've been together a few months, so it's been pretty cool, but now it's time to move on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you're not sad to see the 3.8 go. We still have the turbo for a little bit. And then, yep, on to the new car. So if you enjoyed that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click on that subscribe button down below so you can stay tuned for the upcoming new ride for myself. Like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram. I'll see you guys next video in a brand new car.